Abbott Laboratories has developed an experimental heart stent to treat chest pains. The device is about the size of the spring in a ballpoint pen and is designed to dissolve within two years after implant. And if studies confirm the device helps arteries without causing clots or other risks linked to the metal models, the product may take the lead in the $4 billion a year market for drug-coated stents. Joining us now to discuss this new technology, Bloomberg Pharmaceuticals reporter Shannon Pettypiece. Shannon Welcome so much. And we should point out as we discuss these stents, we're going to show you an animation of how it works. And that's just over our shoulder. And it's it's not a stretch to say this is really revolutionary, is it not? Well, yes. And it starts to sound like something from a science fiction novel, sure. too, you know, where you have a device implanted in your body that just dissolves, actually is absorbed into the artery uh, and processed out through the body. Um, and the, the reason we need something like this now is that we have millions of Americans walking around with these teeny little mesh tubes uh, implanted inside their arteries. And they'll have which, these is, which is there for life, correct? There for life, yeah. and with it is the risk of forming a clot within these little mesh tubes. And so patients, as well as having one of these uh, stents in for life, they're also taking an anti-clotting drug to help prevent these blood clots. What are these new ones made of? Yeah, so uh, these are made, th as you can see here, it's um, made through a special, unique material, and it's going to break down over about two years into lactic acid. Acid, which is just this natural chemical we have mm -hmm. in the body and absorbed right into the artery wall. And as you can see, you're left after two years with this very healthy, uh, robust looking artery. No scar tissues, nothing. That's at least that's the hope. That's the promise that, that we're going for here. You know, that Abbott's going for here. Yeah. How long was this in the pipeline? How much research are we talking? This has been this has been going on for at least over a decade. And mm -hmm. um, right now we're, we're even still at the early stages uh, and it's a long road ahead. Head. It's probably about three years before these come on the market in the U.S. If all the data keeps to be as promising as it appears to be so far, um, you know, rarely we have a medical device that is so revolutionary. A mm -hmm. lot of advances in medical device technology are just a slight alteration to something that we've had for a long time. This is a total overhaul. This is really, yeah, yeah. this is really a first of its kind. And the market for stents is about four billion dollars. So this really has the potential to become a leader in that. And the sales potential here. Well, Abbott right now is going for about uh, of the patients that make up about half of that population. So patients who are relatively healthy, they haven't had a lot of complications in the past. So it could be about a $2 billion market Abbott's going after right now. And there's not very many companies working on this technology. There's a few smaller companies. Yeah. Johnson & Johnson has something. Why, why, yeah. why is that? Well, it's it's a risk. It's a big risk. I mean, I think where you're going to have you know something that's revolutionary, you're also going to have a big risk as well. And, you know, Johnson & Johnson has said, well, you know, we're not really, you know, sure the technology is there yet. And I would imagine that in these economic times too, maybe a lot of companies have had to scale back money on R&D because they just couldn't afford it right now. Yeah, companies have been making cuts in R&D and, and Abbott has continued to make this a priority. I mean, I was writing about this device and this data two years ago. I mean, you know, they were, they were, you know, were working on it back then and uh, yeah, they've, they've really invested a lot into this. And we should mention that even though what we've been seeing on screen there, that's what Abbott is hoping will revolutionize yeah. the stent area. They had to go back to the drawing board even last year and redesign this, didn't they? Yeah, they have. Again, not this has not been a simple or easy process. I mean, and when you're talking about taking a, a you know a device and having it dissolve in the body, and yeah, as you can see there, that's what you know your traditional stent looks like, and now it it just will sort of break apart. And I mean, you're dealing with something very fragile too. It's an artery. Um, you know, these you know you can't have any room for error here because if you get mm -hmm. another clog, another clot, you're gonna you know, you know increase the patient's risk for a stroke. And we should uh, just to to go back. Back a little bit in time, doctors first used a balloon to go in there, right? They would literally right. go in the artery, put the balloon there, inflate it, and then pull it out. So they're pulling out all that gunk right. out of your arteries. So blowing up all the, the plaque built up in Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And, um, you know, but that led to its own problems. And, and now thinking about that seems a little primitive. Very much so. Uh, it, it is a possibility, though. Primitive, ten, but primitive, but desperate, I would yeah. imagine. And it is a possibility in 10 years from now, we're going to look back at having one of these little teeny mesh tubes in your artery as being very primitive as well. Um, you know, the fact that people are walking around with these devices in there. Shannon, in about 15 seconds, what yeah. this means for Abbott Labs? Well, uh, this shows that they're making a big investment into medical devices. Um, you know, that Abbott's trying to be on the cutting edge of this.
this area. And um, there's an article, if you want to know more about this, in this week's issue of Business Week. Uh, our science reporter, Michelle Cortez, did this in a lot more detail. So if you want to check that out. And find very, out more very nice plug. There. There you <laughs> Shannon go. Pettypiece, our pharmaceuticals reporter. Shannon, it's always good to have you on. Thanks so much. Hey.